now let's talk specifically about the open mainframe project you know mentorship program what it is what is the goal uh, and yeah let's start there first yeah and the mentorship program was actually the program that really got kicked off in the early days of the open mainframe project because there was this big identified issue of there are tons like you said of tenured people in the mainframe world tons of great real world experience but these people were towards the back end of their careers, and there wasn't as many people coming into newer mainframe jobs. Um, you know, we saw them going to cloud, web dev, other technologies that might be a little bit more flashy, but they were not as much going into mainframe. And so the question was, why is that? How can we help bring more of these students in? And there have been a lot of different attempts at this over time, but another thing that the mainframe community saw was the future for them was going towards open source. You know, uh, Linux, it came to the mainframe. We were seeing more and more open source being ported to the mainframe. Um, IBM was getting ready to announce it's a, a Linux-only mainframe um, at the time. And so the thought was, could the working in open source, where we see more and more students, that sort of skill set that the tenured track maybe doesn't have as much experience with, but more students have more experience, could we pair that interest back with the tenured interest, the knowledge in the mainframe space that the students don't have, but the other, you know, the more tenured folks have. And that's really where this program was born, was let's, let's get these people that really understand mainframe, let's get students that, don't, that understand open source and work in different areas. And in our first year, we had, you know, some really, really cool results. We had um, a Linux distribution ported to the mainframe, Alpine Linux. We had contributions upstream to um, various open source projects. And it, it did a couple of really interesting things out of the first year. I mean, one, it, it showed students that there was job opportunities. And matter of fact, out of that first class, I think we have a handful of people that either were employed in mainframe right then after their mentorship or soon thereafter. And it also sort of changed the perception of the mainframe world that there are people that really will get into this technology and have the same appreciation that they have for it. You know, once they're brought in and they're exposed to it, you know, there was always this, oh, geez, you know, it's mainframe. People aren't going to be as, they, they have this inherent bias. But the first students that went through is like, this stuff's amazing. Like, we had a lot of fun. This was really good. And, and I think in a way, it, it really helped the mainframe community come around to like, this is how we can engage with these folks. Like, we show them the technology and they'll be just as excited as we are. So it was that was really where it started to come to be. And as more and more project, as the open mainframe project sort of moved from a um, sort of a singular project to more of an umbrella, similar to like a CNCF or a you know Open JS Foundation, we saw some of our hosted projects use the mentorship program, and, and that's I think where we're predominantly seeing it as a way to bring new students into their projects which are also bringing new students into the mainframe world, but they're rooted in our project's technologies, which is helping set forward their workforce going forward.